Hello everybody and welcome to another video and today we're going to be looking at a band called Ablaze My Sorrow. i never heard of them before so I had to try and do a bit of research for them but I didn't really come up with very much at all I'm afraid. Uh, what I have found is Ablaze My Sorrow is a melodic death metal band from Falkenberg, Sweden. Uh, the group formed in 1993 and released three full-length albums, um, If Emotion Still Burns, The Plague, and Anger, Hate, and Fury, under the No Fashion Records label. Um, and they went through several lineup changes in that time. Uh, they received significant exposure among the metal press uh, before disbanding in 2006. Uh, in January 2013, though, the band then reunited and went on to release their fourth album, Black, in 2016. And that's really all I've got. Um, and the track we're going to be looking at today is off that uh, 2016 album, Black. It's a track called When All Is. And that's it. Um, now, they, they're a melodic death metal band, so sort of knowing what to expect going into this, but, uh, you know... There seems to be such a variation of melodic uh, death metal these days that you know you can never be too sure exactly what we're going to get. Um, so yeah, we'll see what we get. So um, yes, when all is, I blaze my sorrow. Let's see what we get. Here we go. Don't know why I did that. <laughs>
sudden stop at the end there but there we go that was <clears throat> when all is by ablaze my sorrow and it was very very good it it actually reminded me a little bit of a, a sort of watered down version of hypocrisy in their sort of catch 22 maybe the 2.0.08 um, sort of area it, it had that sort of feel to it. it might just be the tone of the guitars and there's something about the structure of the song. It actually reminds me of a specific hypocrisy track, but I can't quite put my finger on it. It might be hatred, I'm not sure. But it, it does, it reminds me of of a like I say, a watered down version of hypocrisy. And hypocrisy is actually one of my favourite um death metal bands uh, of, of all time. You know, I was I was introduced to them quite early on in my um shall we say Metalhead career, you know, it's one of the first bands I ever heard when I got into metal, and I really enjoyed Hypocrisy. So, hearing this and it having that sort of familiarity with that band, you know, it, it kind of it it kind of worked well for me. Um, and what I say, what I mean when I say a watered down version, is uh, the music in the track. It, it feels like it could use a bit more depth. You know, the the see, it feels like there's something missing from it. You know, it's not bad by any means. It's very, very good. But it feels like th there's just something missing from it. It might just be the mixing of the album. I'm not sure. But it's, you know, it's a damn good track. I really like it. Um, there is one other criticism I do have, though, and that is uh, the lyrics. Whilst the lyrics are well written, it's what I tend to call a lazily written song because there isn't, a huge amount of variation in the lyrics. Essentially, there's the first verse, then there's a bridge, then there's a chorus, and then the first verse and the chorus is repeated again, and then the first verse is repeated again. So they've, they've essentially just written a small amount of the song and then just repeated it over and over again. And, you know, I, I call that lazy songwriting, it, it, even though essentially it's not. And, you know, even some of the songs that my band does uh, are in a similar manner, but you know, <clears throat> it is what it is. Now, the, with the track being called When All Is, and you look at this, it looks like they're talking about fake people. Um, and I'm not talking about mannequins and dolls and stuff like that. I'm talking about people who claim to be your friend and then talk about you behind your back, or, you know, people who act a certain way just to be popular when that's not who they really are. It seems, seems to be that sort of thing. I could be wrong. Um, the song goes, I can't take this anymore. Can't help but feel like shit. Don't want to be your whore. I don't sell out. This is not... Uh, this is who I am. Don't fake your facade to me. I see right through. So, just at the beginning there, it's like, he's... He's fed up of this person, you know. He, he can't deal with this person anymore. It's like I can't take this anymore. You know, I, I, I you, you make me feel horrible about myself, and I don't want to be, as he puts it there, I don't want to be your whore. You know, I'm not going to be some person that you just use when it's convenient for you when you need me, and then just cast me aside when you know all your other mates are. You know, it's, it sounds like that's what he's saying at the beginning. I don't sell out, this is who I am, you know, I, I've got more integrity than to sort of hang around with you and essentially just be there and to be used by you. I've got more integrity, I'm not going to sit there and follow you around and be at your every beck and call, you know, that's not who I am. And he says, don't fake your facade to me, I see right through. It's like, you know, you can put on all these fake faces for all these other people that you're trying to impress, but I know who you really are. Don't try using that on me, because I know what you're really like. 
And it goes, you think you're standing over over me? Think again, because I'm not leaving this be. For you, that's a well-played card, but anyone can see through. It's not that hard. You know, it's like, you think you're standing over me? Think again, because I'm not leaving this be. It's like, you, you think you have control over me. You think I will come running back to you, but, you know, think again, because I, I, I'm not going to... I'm not going to take this from you anymore. I'm not going to deal with the kind of person you are anymore. You know, I, I'm not your slave. I'm not your whore. I'm I'm my own person. I've got more integrity than to be, you know, under your thumb, as it were. And the for you, that's a well played card. But anyone can see through. It's not that hard. You know, you think you're being clever. You think you're being sly and manipulative. You think you've like got an ace in the hole. But you know, anyone. You know that actually takes a moment to actually examine you and your behaviour. We'll just see straight through what a fake person you are. Um, then it gets to that chorus. When all is said and done, there's no more room for words. It's time to just shut up and just stop. When all is said and done, there's no more room for words. It's time to shut up and just stop. So it's like at the end of the day, nothing you say is gonna change my view of you. I know what you're really like. So just 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 stop, you know. You're not impressing anybody. You're not gonna change my mind, you know. At at the end of the day, I know what a sort of snake you are. I know how two faced you are. Nothing you say or do is gonna change my mind. Just you know, just just move on. You know. Try try fooling someone else because I I'm done with it. And the song like I said, it carries on, it goes back to the opening verses. I can't take this anymore. I can't help but feel like shit. Don't want to be your whore. I don't sell out. This is who I am. Don't take you. Uh, don't fake your facade to me. I see right through. Then it goes back into that chorus. When all is said and done, there is no more room for words. It's time to just shut up and just stop. When all is said and done, there's no more room for words. It's time to shut up and just stop. And then it goes back to the first verse again. I can't take this anymore. Can't help but feel like shit. Don't want to be your whore. I don't sell out. This is who I am. Don't fake your facade to me. I see right through you. And then it comes to that very abrupt stop. And, you know, with, with that uh, last version of the verse, they actually added you onto the end of it, which wasn't there in previous versions. You know, so writing is not overly complex, but it still brings across a good message, you know, brings across what their, you know, what their intention was, you know. I'm not going to be a slave to fake people. I'm not going to fall for these people anymore. I'm not going to allow myself to be used, manipulated, and abused by these people. I'm just going to stand up, walk away, and they can try as hard as they want to try and rectify things with me, but it's just not going to work because I know what they're like. They're not going to change. So, you know, it's got a good meaning to it. And like I said, I really like the song. I like the style of the uh, music. Um, I, I actually really, really like that. I'd, I'd be interested in checking out their older stuff to see if their style changed um, uh, throughout the years. Um, obviously, you know, they've, they've released four albums so far um, uh, to date. So, you know, I, I'd, I'd be interested in looking back on some of their older stuff, but I, I did like that. I did like that. It was very good. Um, but I'm not sure there's much else to say on that. Um, so I'll leave that as it is. Um, now, if anybody would like to suggest a track for me to react to, then please do so. By all means, you can drop a comment in the comment section below or message me on my Facebook or my Instagram or even through my Patreon where you could also help to support this channel and help me create future content. It would be very, very helpful to me. Uh, there is also an option on my Patreon where you can get your suggestion jumped to the front of the queue. There are a few provisos on that, however, to be fair to um, other people who might want to suggest tracks through regular means, like through my Instagram and Facebook, etc. Uh, if you do suggest a track through uh, those regular means, through Facebook and Instagram, do know uh, there is a possibility, uh, well, it's more than likely going to take me a while to get around to it since I get suggested so many new tracks every single day uh, that my list grows faster than I can record the videos and it's very, very difficult to keep up with. Um, but I do write down every suggestion I get, so it will get done eventually. It's just going to take me a while to get around to it, unfortunately. Also, Metalhead Reacts is a proud supporter of the Sophie Lancaster Foundation, a British-based charity whose main goal is to put an end to hate crimes, more specifically hate crimes aimed towards people of the alternative culture. Obviously, they want to put an end to uh, all hate crimes, but their main aim is the alternative culture, since that's how the foundation came into being. Um, and it's something I support very strongly. It's something I believe in very passionately, because it's something I've had to deal with for nearly 30 years of my life. 
Um, many of my friends have had to deal with this. Family members have had to deal with this. And it's the fact that every single day, all around the world, people from the alternative culture are getting violently attacked, brutally assaulted, verbally and physically, just because of their taste in music. And nothing's getting done about it. You know, some people are getting brutally beaten and attacked. People are getting hospitalized. People are getting bones broken. People are suffering like severe invasive injuries just because of their taste in music. And nothing gets said or done to stop it. Nothing's getting done to fix it. And that needs to change. Because like every single day we hear about all these other hate crimes like racism, sexism, homophobia, transphobia, ableism, you name it. We hear about these every single day through all sorts of media. We hear the most heinous and violent of these crimes where someone gets murdered because of the colour of their skin or their sexual identity or sexual preference and what have you. You know, down to the most pathetic of these uh, crimes where entitled Karen is calling the police on a family of colour because they're having a picnic in a public space. Uh, you know, God forbid that should ever happen. You know, we, we hear about all, all of these sorts of things every single day. But we never hear anything about these people that are getting violently attacked because of their taste in music. And people have said to me, you know, oh, this is not a hate crime. It is. It is the very definition of a hate crime. You know, if you are attacking someone because you hate something about that person, whether it is their race, their sexual identity, their religious choices, what have you, their taste in music, if you are attacking someone because you hate that aspect about that person, that is a hate crime. You know, so attacking someone because you hate the music they listen to, you hate the way they dress, is a hate crime. And this needs to be addressed, and something needs to be done about it, because, you know, hundreds if not thousands of people are getting violently attacked all over the world just because of this. You know, the last time there was any widespread media or even coverage of this was 12 years ago, when Sophie Lancaster and Rob Maltby were violently attacked by a group of five or six people, you know, brutally beaten, kicked, punched, had their heads stamped on just because of the way they dressed and the music that they listened to. You know, and they were they were so badly beaten that they both ended up in a coma. And you know, Rob Meltby, he thankfully survived. He he was in a coma for maybe a week or so. I can't remember exactly how long. But Sophie Lancaster was in a coma for thirteen days before she eventually succumbed to her injuries. And this girl, twenty year old girl, was brutally murdered because she listened to alternative music. And that was twelve years ago. That's the last time there was any widespread coverage or talk about this sort of thing happening. And that's unacceptable, because I can guarantee in the 12 years since that happened, hundreds if not thousands of people from the alternative community have been assaulted in a similar fashion. But we've not heard anything about it, and the main reason for that is nobody died. And that is just unacceptable. It shouldn't take someone's death for this subject to get spoken about. You know? and. This is what the Sophie Lancaster Foundation is all about. They want to bring attention to the fact that this is happening. They want more people to talk about it. They want stuff to get done. Because they don't want what happened to their daughter to happen to anyone else. You know, they don't want to see another family go through what they went through when they had to watch their daughter slowly die over the course of two weeks. You know, they don't want to see that sort of thing happen. Again, it should never have happened in the first place. You know, and I think it's something that's really very, very important because, you know, like I said, I, I've been violently attacked before. I've been cornered by groups of people beaten up, you know, for no other reason than the fact that I listen to heavy metal music. You know, members of my family have been attacked with baseball bats because they listen to alternative music, you know. And th this goes on all the time, but nothing gets done and that needs to change. Uh, so if you'd like to find out more about the Sophie Lancaster Foundation, there is a link to their website in the description below. You can go over there, find out what they're working on uh, at the moment, find out um, what uh, their main goal is, because they can explain it a lot better than I can. Um, and if you can help them out in any way, obviously don't feel obligated to do so, but if you can help them out in any small way, you know, a, a small donation through their website or something like one of these 
cycling bracelets off their web store. I think they're like a pound or something like that. You know, the smallest amount can make the biggest difference. And the sooner we bring more attention to this, the sooner we get more people talking about it, the sooner we can help to stamp out prejudice, hatred and intolerance everywhere. But I'm going to leave that as it is for the time being. Thank you all very, very much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.